Good. Welcome, everyone, as we get set for what is a huge night tonight at Clinton Athletic uh, Memorial Complex. Um, needless to say, it's historic as the Gales go for the first the opportunity for the first ever league championship in field hockey. It's also senior night, so we got a big one here, um, and we are getting ready for the opening ceremonies. Mr. Moisen down at field level, ready to do uh, the announcements. Thank you for joining us tonight on a chilly but clear Wednesday night. As I'll let Mr. Moisen take it away. For tonight's matchup featuring the Tigers of Maynard, led by head coach Brenda Sullivan, and your 2022 Galloping Gales of Clinton, led by head coach Lauren Russell. The MIAA would like to remind us that the idea of good sportsmanship, ethical behavior, and integrity should permeate all interscholastic athletics in our community. In perception and in practice, good sportsmanship shall be defined as those qualities of behavior which are characterized by generosity and genuine concern for others. Our athletic fields should be a laboratory to produce good citizens reflecting fair play in every area of life. Tonight, we will be formally recognized and celebrate our seniors participating in tonight's contest. Clinton students will be formally recognized at the conclusion of tonight's game. Also tonight and this week, the coaches and student athletes would like to publicly thank and recognize the many officials that have worked high school games throughout the state of Massachusetts. Please help us show our appreciation with a round of applause for tonight's officials. Thank you. All right, top camera. If the girls stay there, now for the they might just step out. It's first for the visiting Tigers. The stay there. Number sixty-seven, Haley Alfin. Well, we don't know what they're going to do. Oh, yeah. oh, they're just steps now. Number eight, step 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 eight. Step. Yep. Stephanie Venegas. Number thirty-five, Maeve yeah. Bartlett. Yeah, get the top camera. Right. Top top camera panel. Number twenty-six, Emily Bolyard. Uh, Dave, you're going to stay on. <laughs> Number two, Greta Bernard. Number 24, yeah, okay. Isabella Bernard. Come, come up a little tighter on it. Top camera. Top camera. Number 15, Ella Carter. Top camera. Move more to the left. Or to the right, sorry. Number 15, Juliana Concepcion. <laughs> Number 7, Kaylee Currier. Number four, Kaylee Dunahue. And follow to the left. Number 18, Julia Hart. And zoom out a little bit so you can get them running down the side of you. Number 81, Marissa Lawton. Number 14, Rachel Martins. Number 23, Anna McLaughlin. Number 10, Madison Morgan. Number 11, Sierra Nacetta. Number 12, Mika Fliegel. Number 21, Zanae Q. You have these names. Number 25, Eliza Smothers. Remember, so Number 22, Katie Stackowitz. We have three more players to announce, and then we're going to shift to the Gales. Number 6, Mackenzie Thomas. Number 30, Katarina Truck. <laughs> yep, I'm on the truck camera right now. And number 3, Elizabeth Olmer. Big position, top camera. Shift over to the girls. Now for the Gales. 
Captain number 24, Hannah Zaycraft. <laughs> Captain number 8, Grace Nelligan. <laughs> Senior number 4, Jaylene Costello. <laughs> Senior number 5, Nicole Lozano. <laughs> Number 16, Grace Dickhead. Here we go, Grace! No, I repositioned Number 6, Isabel Young. Here we go, let's go! Number 10, Captain McKenna Flanagan. Number 3, Jenna Turin. Number 15, Goalie Kayla Charlotta. Number seven, Hannah Schoolcraft. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number nine, Ariel Larrabee. Here we go, Ariel! Number 21, Shiro Cardenas. I would say yes. Please. Number 23, Rashad Lee Scottberg. Number 17, Kitty Bruce. Number 22, Bella Becerra. Number 2, Faith Dicker. Number 11, the birthday girl, Ava Varakis. Number 19, Natalie Selva. Number 1, Sonia Mendez. And number 14, Amanda Champagne. Tonight's national anthem will be sung by Laura Murray. Paisley rising star Laura Murray exploded onto the Laura Scottish Murray. music scene with her debut EP, Tighter. Memories, in 2020, Tighter. Tighter. and is known for her soulful voice and songwriting abilities. Memories was well received, gaining radio get play get from the BBC talk show since Scotland. Off camera, go to the flags. Laura was picked up by a host of local Scottish blogs, and the track, Proud, has over 46,000 streams on Spotify alone. Despite not we being able to play more. live we events recently, Laura has kept fans captivated with live stream performances online and currently sits at over 13,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. Taking inspiration from pop sensations such as Ian Marie, Jesse J, Ariana Grande, while sprinkling the soulfulness of Adele and Jess Lynn, Laura has found the perfect balance. At this time, we ask you please rise for the singing of our national anthem. Picture, picture with the flag.
Great job there by Laura Murray, recording artist. As we get set to start this one, again, a historic game. The Gales have a chance to clinch the Midwalk D League title tonight with a win over Maynard. They hold a 10-0-3 record. Mr. Morrison will be with, be with us shortly as he lumbers on over to the gate. <laughs> well, welcome everyone, our 12 viewers. It is a cold one here, but it's nice. Clear Wednesday night. Temperature at game time, 46 degrees. Great job, Mr. Morrison. Ready to rock and roll? Oh, yeah. You out of breath? Little. It's all right. Thank goodness I get paid by the word. <laughs> uh, listen, Mr. Russell, I can't tell you. I have never been more excited for a field hockey game in my life. I, uh, I just told our viewers that this is a historic evening at Veterans Memorial Athletic Complex. League title on the line on senior night. Doesn't get any better than this. And here we go, just about to start. Grace Nelligan, going to go back to Mac in the middle. I'm willing to bet that they're going to go right for it early on here. Score first. Last time these two teams met, it was a 6-1 advantage, Gales. As Torini battles on the near side. I hope I didn't butcher too many names out there either. No, you sounded great. <laughs> Jen here, get it in, looking for Grace, one of the seniors we will be honoring later tonight. Yeah, the four seniors. And what is our second of four senior nights? Gala Palooza. Our, our fourth of six games this week, Mr. Russell. Here at Greenlight Studios. Oh, Grace in the middle. Yeah, she's got something going here, working in. Ava, which is Ava Vrox's 15th birthday today. We got it. We announced it. Right. Looks like all the seniors are getting the start tonight, too, right? It looks like Nicole Lizardo in the back with uh, Hannah Zencraft, and I believe that's Jaylene on the far side. I believe it is. So all four seniors getting the start here on senior night. That's nice. Perusi gets it up ahead. Faith Dick out. Trying to control it. Will get it. Was trying to get ahead to Grace. Good job there to secure. Tries to get in the middle, but stolen. Spice in the circle, though. 26 that was on the defense. Annalie Bolio. Tarini's keeping it in, though. Keeping the pressure on. Perus. Good job there. <laughs> How was the wind blowing down on field level there, Mr. Moise? That uh, wasn't too bad. It's definitely chilly though. We're in the we're in the throes of fall now. Of course my pool's still open, if you can believe that. Did you go for a dip before the game? Oh no. I screwed up the other day. I accidentally left the machine on draining water and it drained out too much, so now I have to refill half of it. Oh. 
Live and learn. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> so here we go. 23 here. Hannah McLaughlin with the Look hit. Look out. It's got to be a high ball. It is. It is. Yep. So Perusi's going to take this one. And you know what? Um, we can see the red lines today, Derek. Yeah, we, Coach uh, Kaiser and I were talking about it in the JV game. They they definitely came out and did some painting. Must have been uh, Mrs. Donsbach's class came out. <laughs> the red paint. Yeah, that was Mr. Crowley. One of the two. Yeah, the crayons transferred nice. <laughs> the crayons. Ariel Larrabee over there on the far side. She celebrated a birthday this week. Did she? Yeah. Never had Ariel. I have her this year. As she looks to get it ahead. Great student. Had two two tests so far in, in uh, Honors U.S. History, too, and she's got 105 on both of them. Oh. That would be out of 100, Mr. Russell, by the way, because <laughs> her team won Jeopardy both times. Speaking Gail's of, got, yeah, Gail's got something going on. <clears throat> they definitely controlled the field in the first five minutes. Yeah, I can't seem to get a corner, though. They've had it inside the circle a couple of times, but not getting the call yet. That's going to be a free hit here for the Tigers. As Faith Dick out in the middle, looks to get it ahead. Mac. And she's Hannah, one of the other <clears throat> seniors, comes up. That was a nice play there. Kick it out. Get off to the side. Try to get it to Ariel, but goes out of bounds. So we're going to get a free hit here for the Tigers. <laughs> Hannah McLaughlin again. <clears throat> Gets it into the Gale zone. Torini trying to get it out. And Jenna will get it. That's a good stick. Oh. No. No call there. The Tigers get something brewing. Nicole on the defense. Good job there by Nicole to scoop it away. Hits right back. Number 10. Madison Morgan, and it's going to go with the Tigers. It was nice having Coach up here, too, because there was a couple of times she uh, had to explain what was going on for calls. You can tell me to leave if you want. No. You're the voice of the Gales, <laughs> my friend. I think I think uh, Coach Kaiser would prefer to be a spectator for this one. Yeah, she's up top right now. Uh, a little too far there for Faith, although she almost got it back. Good job by Hannah McLaughlin. Morgan fighting with Perusi. And Perusi wins that battle, gets it ahead. Let's see if Grace can track it down before. Oh, yeah, and that hit Grace's shin. Almost almost had a breakaway. It's happened in the JV game. They had a 4 on 0 for the Gales' own goal by Hannah Schoolcraft oh, in the yeah? JV game. Yeah. Just got completely past the defense. Job there by Grace to get it ahead. Try to get something going here. Eight minutes left to go in the first. Yeah, definitely trying to get it to Varakis, the birthday girl. Their last leading couple of possessions. Yeah. I think one of the leading scorers in Central Mass, as a matter of fact. Which I think, and I could be wrong, I think her number is up to, got to be 18. 18 goals as a freshman. Sounds about right. It's something around there. Yeah, we're unofficial. Yeah, and Telegram makes us have to pay for uh, home team stats now. Maybe, so. maybe we can get like a press pass. You would think. Yeah, maybe, maybe Mr. Morrison could put that in his budget. <laughs> well, you know. Well, you have the dollar, don't you? Ariel on the free hit. Up to Varakis. She can get there. Yep, she did get there and try to get it back to the middle to Grace. Oh. Swing and a miss. Yeah, opportunity there by Larrabee. Just missed it. That's off a foot. 
And it's going to be off of Perusi. As McLaughlin going with the hit. <clears throat> oh, good it, hit there. It is quite the contrast, right? Tonight, honoring our four seniors. And then you've got just as many freshmen who have made an impact yeah. on the team this season as Kitty Perus is about ready to take the free hit. But Faith Dickout has contributed. Obviously, Ava. So, even even though these seniors are playing in their, technically, their last regular season home game, there's still, uh, still a lot of juice in the pipeline for the field hockey program, which is great to see. And the field hockey program was, was very young, too, Mr. Russell, if you're aware. A lot of, lot of seventh and eighth graders on the JV team. Yes. Grace, got something going. Faith, nope. Can be hit away by hand. A good hustle there by Grace. She's all over the place right now. You definitely know the adrenaline's got to be pumping. Oh, I would imagine. She, I saw her earlier today in school. She's jacked and pumped. One of our seniors. She fill out her uh, survey? She did. I know uh, Ariel Larrabee told me specifically that she filled hers out today. <laughs> so we have to make sure that we make mention of that tonight. And out of bounds. Tiger ball. <clears throat> Coming up on five minutes left to go in the first. Well, quiet first quarter. Yeah. Hasn't been a corner yet. I don't even think there's been a uh, technically a shot on goal, has there? No. For either side. Look out. Yep, that hit off a uh, something. I think it hit off of Grace's stick. But it's going to be a free hit here for the Tigers. By the way, we get the Tigers coming in here on Friday night, too. We do the for football. Tingsboro Tigers. Oh, Maynard's got something going here. <clears throat> free hit. And it's going to go back to the Gales. Oh, Hannah McLaughlin from Maynard. I've recognized some of these uh, Maynard names from basketball. Well, Lawton is a huge name in Maynard. I can tell you that. Look out. Oh, no call on that. Oh, yeah. and that, yep, that hit off uh, Varakis. True, Nicole, don't let it go out. And it does. So, no, not a corner. No. She must not have touched it. So it's going to be a free hit, I guess. Torini. Perus on the far side. Yeah, and that hit. Number 11, Sierra Naceda's foot. <clears throat> Mack in the middle. Gets it over to Torini on the near side. She's got numbers. Uh, got faith. Uh-oh. Gets to Grace in the middle. Oh, nice kick out there by the Maynard defense. But Gra Faith has a dig on it. Oh, good save there by the goalkeeper. Yeah, it looked like she originally was trying to go over to Varakis on the weak side. Couldn't quite get enough on it. The Tigers get it out. Now out of bounds. Fast moving quarter. Yep, two and a half left. Good opportunity there by the Gales, but a, a great save. Definitely the, the best so far of the game by the goalkeeper for Maynard. Stand 
Matt gets it ahead of Perusi. Matt and that hits Perusi's foot. So we're going back the other way. No, that's Isabel Young. Oh, is that Young? Number six. Yeah, she's in the game. All right. Who scored the game winner against she the Hawks on Friday? So far, the biggest goal in the history of the field hockey program. I, I don't think she stopped smiling all week, to be perfectly honest, Mr. Russell. I have her in class, too. So do I. <laughs> she was, and not that she's ever not smiling, but I mean, like, it was a big, noticeable s smile this week. As we get something brewing here. Three on two. Oh! Nice save by Varakis. Keeps it in the circle. Now, now out. for Torini. Torini's gonna, is she gonna win the battle? Come on, Jenna. We got to stick off? Yep. There we go, Jenna. <laughs> no whistle yet. It's quite the battle here. It is. Jenna's still fighting for it. Was looking to get it to Mac, but stolen. Job by Nicole. Hannah here, good defense. Gonna try to get it out. She does. Good hustle there by Hannah. Good stick work too. Be able to keep the stick up and deflect the ball to get it back to the position. Possession, excuse me. And I thought that hit Maynard foot, but it did hit the foot. They're letting him play. And Maynard has an opportunity here. But Katie gets a beat on it. <laughs> That's going to be the first quarter. Wow. So a scoreless first quarter here. The Gales had one shot on goal. Good save by uh, the goalkeeper, but uh, a few opportunities. See what adjustments uh, both coaches make for the second quarter. Yeah, no, and I and I did the uh, I did the PA announcement. I don't know if it's uh, Alfin or Lawton as the goalie for Maynard. So end of the first. Here on senior night, Gala Palooza continues on. Yep, we got Hannah, Grace, Jalen, Nicole at the end of the game. Now give credit to uh, Field Hockey here. 13 responses. What do we have for boys soccer? Like four? Eight, I think. <laughs> Maybe seven, yeah. And there's a lot more kids, too, in the soccer program. Girls like this stuff, though, you know. So, what did Ariel Larrabee have to say? We got. You want to do? Uh, you want to do Ariel? Well, we have to make sure we say something because she did tell me she filled it out today. So, just get it out of the way because we'll be honoring the seniors later. So, her, her favorite subject, unfortunately, uh, is math. Oh. <laughs> Who likes math? Not I. No. Favorite food. Neither does my wife, and she teaches it. Pad Thai. Favorite food. Oh. Jack Tuck Tie? Jack Tuck Tie. Real good. You know what movie that's from? No. Meet the Parents. She also plays softball and swims. She Yes, she's on the uh, um, co-op that we have with Neshoba, and she's a very good swimmer. I believe she's a distant swimmer. And uh, she starts for uh, varsity soft, softball. Started last year as a sophomore. How long has she been playing field hockey? She has say? been playing field hockey for since seventh grade because her uncle told her about it. Oh. Well, thanks, Uncle Larrabee. And uh, Mr. De Silva just texted us and said, math is the best subject, which is just objectively false on all accounts. Of course. The only, the only day of the year that it's actually fun? Pi Day. Pi Day, correct. March 14th, that's it. And all he does is just eat pies anyway. So I think his favorite is apple strudel. 
And so I asked I asked a question here. Ariel says one of her favorite memories is when our shutout goalie Kayla the Bot malfunctions and falls. Whatever that means. Kayla the Bot? Yep. Is that what they call her? Is that um, her nickname? Here we go. Start of the second. Kayla the Bot. Huh. Grace quickly up. Get oh! It looks like Isabel Young took a split. Ariel gets it ahead. In Grace. the circle, oh, and, and they're going to get a be, corner. Yeah, I saw a, uh, I saw a, a, a foot. So first corner of the game here goes to the Gales. I think it hit the big piggy. <laughs> the girls were telling me the names of their corners. Yeah. And one of them is called Smitty. Is it? Yes. Of course, I wish we could hear Ooh. what the calls are. Ariel doing a nice job keeping it in. Torini lined it up. Ball's in front. Scrum, scrum, scrum. What do you got? Jeepers, Crow. And yeah. another corner. A lot of pressure. It's amazing how, if you just watch their footwork, how they try to keep their feet away from hitting the ball. Well, I mean, you're in a confined area, right? I mean, it's got to it's gotta play into it. Mac went to Ariel, gets it in the middle. And another corner. Yeah, off the stick and then off the foot. <laughs> so Mac again, give it another try. It's Ariel. Perus. Ball's in the middle, somewhere down there. Oh, next to the goalie, and it's in! It's a goal! I think McKenna Flanagan got that one. It looks like it. Do we go to the quick replay? Uh, I, it looks like she was just in the right spot after a couple of deflections. Yep, good job to get it in the middle. And it was McKenna Flanagan. So the Gales take a 1-0 lead with 12.37 left to go in the half. Clinton goal scored by number 10, McKenna Flanagan. Well, here we go, right back though. Tigers are putting pressure right back on. Look at those rosy cheeks. <laughs> Is it a little chilly out there, Mr. Uh, Hilton? Yeah, so we gotta back the back it up. Yeah, Max gonna get the hit. Whoa, lofts it up. Now see, years ago that was illegal. Ball could never go above the above the waist or shoulders. One of them. That was like one of your pitch shots. <laughs> As that one streaks down the far side and will go out. It hugged that line for a while. Yeah, now that we can see the lines tonight. Oh, that's going to hit Katie's foot. Oh, no. They're calling it off of Maynard. Yeah, see... Not sure what that is, but. Larrabee fighting on the far side against number six. Mackenzie Thomas. <laughs> 24, welcome. That should hit off of the foot of 13. Well, it we know, does. We know Mr. Uh, De Silva's watching. He must be feeding the baby at the same time. Himself? 
Yeah, probably that too. Job there by Jenna. Hit it ahead. Faith gets it. Try to try to get it to the middle. And good job there by the Maynard defense. Uh, was in the circle for a while. Schoolie's in. Hannah Schoolcraft had the uh, lone goal for the JVs. Played really well. Had some great free hits. Stolen. Good opportunity there by Grace, but it was defended well by the Tigers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this just in, Mr. De Silva is feeding himself. <laughs> The question is, the question is, what is he eating? The leftover uh -oh. potatoes. Here we go. Grace on the breakaway. Lost control of it for a second. Farrakis with the whack. Oh, yeah, good one-timer there. Ball's in the middle. And going to be a corner. Uh, off, uh, off number two's foot. Brenna Bernard. Great hustle here. Another opportunity, we're under nine minutes left to go in the half. Mac gonna go to Grace. Finds Katie in the middle. Had a good look. And that's gonna go back to the Tigers. Schooley tries to get it out and gonna find Mac in the middle. And gonna be off of Mac, so it's gonna go back to the Tigers. <clears throat> Eight minutes left to go in the half. Oh, good stop there by Jenna. Whack it out of the air. Oh, Faith. And going to go against the Gale. So Tiger ball. And she had golden opportunity with Varakas and Grace Nelligan. Oof. That's still in. That is going to stay in. Heads up play by Schooley. Now getting it out. Yep, Faith on the near side. Again, good opportunity. Has Grace. Uh-oh. He's got Faith. Tries to get it to Ava, but couldn't quite get it there. Oh, golden opportunity. We have that on instant replay by chance. A couple of chances there. Just couldn't couldn't get through. Yeah. You had the pass for the one timer to Varakis, but it was just stopped in the middle. Job there by Faith. That was a rocket. Good, good job to stop it. Now uh, it was a nice free hit there by Rashantley Scottberg who checks in. Uh, we got a corner. He's calling a corner. As the play call comes in. Gonna go to J Bones. Scores oh, through. And it, is it a it's goal? gonna be good. It is. Is that to Torini? And let's, yeah, let's go to the replay here. And Torini was at the top of the key. That's that's coming soon there, Mr. Russell. Oh, was she outside? Well, that's what I was wondering. And so I mean, but it, have it to must be... have hit someone. Can we watch it again? I think he's checking. So Jenna. One, two, it should have, yeah. It should count, and I, I think it will. It'll stand. Who are we giving the goal to, though? That's the question. Uh, I couldn't. 
Couldn't see who it ricocheted off of. But the Gales now up by two with just under six left to go in the half. Well, it was Torini. They are giving it to her. What's her number? Four? Three. Uh, Clinton, Clinton goal, goal scored, scored by number three, three Jenna, Jenna Torini. Torini. Cold. Fans are looking cold. <laughs> what do you say? I think I think Mr. Hilton should do some jumping jacks. He's gonna do what he usually does on Friday nights to get the crowd going. That'll help. That'll help keep them warm too. Keep them warm. There you go. <laughs> Just don't hurt yourself. <laughs> it is a slippery grass. Well, we got more pressure here. Jenna, again, gonna try to find the middle. Grace is in there. Gonna be hit out. And really since those first few uh, minutes of the first quarter, the Tigers haven't really been down on the Gale side. No, Gales have definitely controlled really from like the 40-yard line in for this second quarter. So we're approaching about the four-minute mark. Oh, nice hit by McKenna. It's in. Faith! Faith. As an, oh, and there's, that's going to be in. I think it was Varakis who ended up getting it, the birthday girl. And it is going to be Ava Varakis. Go back to the replay. Now she she's hanging out there on the uh, weak side. Yep, Faith, right. the right side, gets it across. Good job there, taking advantage of an opportunity. So 3 nothing Gales. Should we, should we say it was an assist to uh, Faith Dickout? I don't, I don't know the official, the officialities of it. Uh, what do I care? <laughs> Clinton goal scored by the birthday girl, Ava Varakis. Assist by number two, Faith Dickout. We're unofficial up here anyway. Yeah, right? why not? We could say you scored the goal. Let's not push it. <laughs> the Gales have a nice three nothing lead here as we're approaching uh, almost three and a half left to go in the half. <clears throat> now the one thing you always gotta worry about too is games like this, whether you uh, lose complacency. But I think they understand the significance of tonight. Yeah, this is this is a game where you, you keep the pedal to the metal. Oh, the Tigers got something going here. Good job there by Grace Dick out. Kaylee Courier of Maynard. Pushing through. Farrakis was trying to get it ahead to Grace, but she gets it herself. Nice hustle play by the defense. And going to go back to the Tigers. As we're coming up on the two-minute mark. Larrabee, far side. Ava's fighting with 22. Double deuce. As we take under two minutes. Speaking of twos. What? <laughs> under two? Oh, yeah. Okay. Double deuce? Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, keep yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. 
How long have we been doing this now? <laughs> We're in year three. This is, well, this will be our third winter. Yeah, it will be. Coming up. The gift that just keeps on giving, Greenlight Studios. <laughs> that jumps ahead into Gale territory, but Jen is there to get it out to Mac. We think the, the evolution of Greenlight Studios is to uh, mic up players during games. <laughs> no? Can't do that? <laughs> nice stop by Jenna. I mean, we had to just get FCC approval to get us on here. Well, that's why it's on YouTube. I don't know what he said. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> just just don't get Morris and P all over us, that's all. <laughs> Rashaldi there, good job. Oh, and I think that hit Mac. No, saying it hit uh, Littleton. Good job there by Mac with a sense of urgency. Uh, we're playing Maynard. What'd I say? Littleton. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong Tigers, though. No. And, and, and that's, that's going to be the end of the half. Correct. So the Gales have a 3 nothing advantage going into halftime. And again, if they win, they will be crowned yeah. league champs. So we'll see you in a few.
We're good. We're live. Well, welcome back, everyone. Everyone who's everyone. in the booth right now for <laughs> crying out loud. It's got to be a cold night out there. It's a chilly one, but it's a clear night. As the Gales have a three nothing advantage at the start of the second, start of the second half. Do I do I dare say we're thirty minutes away from history? Is it too, too, you're, too early? You're the one who said it. Too early you're to jump one, on that you're one. You're the one who said it. You got to knock on some wood. Okay, I did. <laughs> Is it three quarter or ten eighths? There's wood right there. There's wood. All right, you ready here? <laughs> I'm ready. Tigers are starting with the ball. Go. Here we go. Katie Perusi back to the defense. Takes care of it. Back to Ariel. Mack in the middle. And wasn't that a TV show on Fox? That was Malcolm in the middle. Oh, Malcolm in the middle. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I thought that hit Littleton. Or it's little, why do I keep saying Littleton? I don't know. Why do you? I don't know. We haven't played Littleton all fall. No. Well, he didn't win football. Varakas had an opportunity there, but it went out. And it looks like the Gales will have a corner. Yep. So Mac on the far side. Did you hear what the play it was, Derek? I couldn't. I was listening. Went over to Torini, but that's going to get outside the circle. Oh, couple of whiffs at it. Grace and Ava. Now yeah, Jenna just couldn't secure it at the top. Katie though did a good job of trying to get it back to the middle. I think I think Grace was just not in the right position. It looked like her back was to the to the net, right? So she tried to backhand it. But still controlled here. Faith Dick out. And should stay Gale's ball, and it will. I think I win then, right? No, who had eight? I eight. <laughs> That's the score. He misinterpreted my message. Uh oh. <laughs> Katie comes to the near side. And I'm going to say it hit Varakas's foot. That's a nice hit. Hannah McLaughlin. Torini going to the far side. See if she can out hustle number three, Elizabeth Ulrich. Well, gains possession. Ooh, Prusy fighting for it, and it's going to hit. Off at number seven, Kaylee Currier, so it's going to stay, Gales. And that goes through. <clears throat> so we're going to get a free hit here for the Tigers. Grace, fighting for it, gonna win it. Has an opportunity here, gets a little bit too far out in front. Did you hear the story about them uh, coming to our house last night? No. <laughs> Did they? Well, you know the tradition for, as I actually, we get an opportunity here in the circle. No. Nope. And gonna go against the Gales. So you know the, Did they show up in TP uh, coach's car? So that's what they usually do the night before senior night. So last year they warned me so I could bring Lauren's car out of the garage, because <laughs> we have a garage. Oh, do you? Continue. <laughs> this year, they forgot. Who's so they? The girls. They forgot, forgot to come to the house? No, they forgot to tell me. Oh. And I forgot that it was the night before senior night. So 
outside at 10 o'clock are cars and people in pajamas in our driveway. <laughs> I had no clue what was going on, and then we put it together. So I let them in. There was Mrs. Uh, Laganelli, Mrs. Zenkraft was with them, so they decorated her car in the garage. <laughs> they, they put spider webs all of our front door. I like stories. <laughs> Ange! <laughs> Ange! <laughs> Call to the bullpen brought to you by... Hey, you want to take over? Pens oil. <laughs> <laughs> we would never. Coach Kaiser, you're doing a great job. Listen, though, you got to stay in the crow's nest, Coach. They scored three goals while you're up there. We do have a game here. Uh, we got a Derek. great game going on. <laughs> I don't know what everyone is screaming and yelling about here either, but I heard a lot of chatter from the stands. Mr. Hilton must be doing uh, something out there, trying to keep warm. Oh. <laughs> I think that's uh, Emily John screaming across the field. Yeah, it could be. Told her to get loud and proud. Perusi gets it ahead. Good shot in there by Ooh, Grace. Is that a... No. Went through. Yeah. Went through. I know we've talked about it the other night, too, but can you imagine... Can you can you imagine this team if, if MJ were playing? Emily oh, Jones? I know. The, the leading scorer from last season. Not even out for the year with a torn ACL. Yeah. Are yeah, you still there? She might know how many Barakas has. Well, it's it's in the high teens. Brave of Barakas. Scored one tonight. Good hit there. Oh, and that's going to go off of number 11, Sierra Nasota's foot. So we're now under eight minutes left to go in the third quarter. Grace, trying to get it back in. Going to go to Faith. No, sorry, 22 for the Gales. Ella Becerra, another freshman. Not a shot by Grace. And that's going to go in. Uh, I don't think they... I, I don't, don't see... Is it a goal? I mean, it went in. No, he's called it a corner. Okay. Yeah, it must have hit someone's foot. <clears throat> or hit something. Yeah. Ooh, look at that play. Oh, almost right there, but Jenna. So, oh, and... No. Oh, and Perusi just missed. A couple of golden opportunities there. We got that uh, replay. That was a great sequence there, too. So Jenna here in the ball. Oh, nice save there. Yeah, it was. Good opportunity, though, by the Gales. Yeah, great pressure. So as we, as we, as we have a little stoppage here, let's look at uh, some of our seniors. Let's talk about Grace, huh? Been oh. playing for six years. Great kid. You've had her. I've had her. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen to this. Mm -hmm. favorite, uh, favorite subjects? No, shock. Psychology, criminal justice. Yeah. Not surprised you do it for her. <laughs> Favorite food? Fried pickles. Gotta love fried pickles. Who doesn't? Wants to be a forensic psychologist and play field hockey in college. And I know she was looking at a, a few schools. Some coaches came and saw her. Is that right? Yeah. Do we know which schools? I know. I think she's been in talks with... Um, Clark, Anna Maria, Worcester State, I think. Oh, good for her. Could be wrong. 
wrong about a lot of things. All have really good programs. My wife coached at WPI, played all those schools. Baracus. That's a foot. That should be a free kick just outside the circle. Free hit, excuse me. Also plays basketball and track, which we have called a number of her basketball games. Yep. Yep. Seems to uh, heal from that ankle injury that uh, yes, she was, was really uh, nasty very end of the season last winter. She was on crutches and in a boot. Just like you were. <laughs> Oh, Grace Dick out into the game now. That last stop. And here's Grace again. That's a stick. Can't do that. Nice pressure by Ariel. Oh. I think that hit Grace, it did. <clears throat> yep, Maynard Ball. Let's go to Hannah. Hannah's favorite food, also fried pickles. Well, you know, the two of them are like frickin' frack, so they probably go out together and order the same food. <laughs> you know what she wrote for anything else you wants to talk about? She can opera sing, and she's a retired gymnast. She got a scholarship to Harvard, hashtag Harvard Scholar. Like Harvard Mass or Harvard University? <laughs> a retired gymnast, huh? Interesting. Uh, Mr. Papecki, I just got word we've got about 24 viewers. Is that correct? Including Coach McGuinn. Well, I know my dad's watching up in Lowell. Hello, Mr. Moisen. My my mother used to. I try to get my mother to watch tonight too because uh, she played field hockey back in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Sport was just invented when she uh, started playing <laughs> Wilmington High School. Just kidding, Mom. You know I love you. Oh, opportunity here for the Gales. Kept in by Jenna. Oh. That's third Ooh. party? No? Yeah, third party. Even I know that obstruction. One of them. I know that call. As we tick under three minutes to go in the third quarter... Ooh, I think that might have hit Mac. No call. Oh, Mr. Crowley must be by the fire. Oh, <laughs> he's tuning in. Biggest field hockey game in program history tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Gale's up 3 nothing as we're ticking close to the end of the third quarter. Shower Cardenas. Good work by Hannah. Ooh, yep. And that, and it will be off of the opera singer. The opera singer. Isn't that what she said? That's what she said. I mean, if it's on the if on the form, it's got to be true. Right? Yeah, never doubt the form. Just like you never doubt the internet. <laughs> Everything's true there, too. Ariel gets it ahead. Look Ooh. out. Jeez. Yeah, he can't. that was that was dangerous. Yep. Yep. Kitty Perus had a uh, wrap on her hand or wrist yesterday. Well, remember a few. It was our pink night actually. Grace got that ball off the knuckle. That's right. Especially since you can get that ball up in the air now. Amanda Champagne checking in number fourteen. 
She's up there in the circle off Katie's foot. We got about 45 ticks left on the clock in the third. And we will have the senior night festivities at the conclusion of the game, which you are uh, I'm emceeing. Yeah. Yep, so you want to really be entertained. Watch me screw up some names. So stick around, Gales fans. Conclusion. We'll be having the ceremony right on the field. And that's going to stay Tiger Ball. <coughs> And no fog tonight either, Mr. Yeah, Russell. Yeah, the, uh, the boys' soccer game the other night, the fog was tough. And that's the end of the third as we move into the final frame. Gales still have a 3 nothing lead. All right, final frame here, Mr. Russell. Yep. So again, conclusion that the conclusion of uh, the game tonight, we will be going over our senior festivities, right? Which we'll be able to honor our seniors. Yep, the four of them. Captains. And I believe there will be some words said by underclassmen, correct? Yes, that is correct. We've got... But it's a secret, right? We can't say. Oh, for crying out. It, it was like, you know, getting an act of Congress just to figure out who was going to be saying the, the speeches tonight because I needed to know who to pass the mic to. But we got it all squared away. Everything's been confirmed. So we're 15 minutes away from the conclusion. Gale's holding on to the three nothing lead. They've pretty much dominated so far, huh, Mr. Russell? Um, yeah. Has Kayla, Charlotte, and Ned had a had one save? You maybe? know what? You know what? Let me get the abacus out. Can you spell abacus? I mean, I know, we know your father's here, but you don't have to impress him with you know what he had to use in high school. <laughs> you know, you know how many goals Kayla's letting up per game? Point. Zero five. Uh, point two eight. Oh, so close. Point two eight goals a game. That's four goals in what is now our fourteenth game. That is incredible. But part of it is the defense. You know, the defense has been phenomenal this season too. Here we go, Mr. Russell. Tigers are gonna start with the ball. <clears throat> Where are we? There we are. So we're shortly here. Going to take the hit. Who sang the national anthem for peak night? She did. Did a wonderful job. It was a nice, nice job by our singer tonight. Yes, Laura Murray. Recording artist. 
And a uh, family friend of the Zencrafts came in from Scotland. She did have a nice accent when talking to her on the far side of the field. Grace going to chase that one down. Oh, a little tangled up. A little cold out there, Mr. Hilton. It is. It's a bit chilly. Well, we told you to start jumping around, get the crowd going. That'll warm you up. You didn't see me run laps out there? <laughs> no, we didn't have the uh, time lapse camera going. <laughs> Come on, Mr. The, the Russell. The Tigers, the Tigers have their first corner of the night. That's a shot. Did I hear a whistle? I yes, I did. Not sure what that was. Either way, it's going to be a free hit here for the Gales. Kenneth Flanagan. Oh. Genetrini fighting on the far side. Well, looks like it's out of bounds. <laughs> oh, must hit Rashawn Lee's stick. Job there by Scott Berg. <clears throat> Larry B with the hit. Oh, nice hit. Better than Hilton's golf swing. Oh, doesn't, doesn't take much. No push. No. Nope. Cross sticks. Tiger ball. That was on Jalen, one of the seniors. Yeah, back in the game. Let's see if Jalen uh, filled out this form. I think I saw her name. You know, it's funny. I've never had Jalen. I have her this year in AP. I mean, I see her in our hallway, the gauntlet. It was Mr. Mr. Crowley for home run for four years. I know she plays tennis. A couple of, couple of times I've been able to go to the Tennis matches and or practices. Likes child development and anatomy. Oh, gee, who teaches anatomy? <laughs> Wants to be an OBGYN. Oh, that's that's good. And yes, like you said, plays tennis, part of NHS. Favorite food, ice cream. Gotta love that. What flavor, though? Oh, yeah, she didn't key. specify. Ah. And that's out of bounds. That wasn't off a stick. Yeah. Is he calling a free hit, correct? Yes. Kenna taking it from the 25. Nice stop by Torini. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, especially in a cold night like this. She's going to feel that tomorrow. Oh, that was number seven, Kaylee Carrier, who got that ball right off the, the shin or the side of the calf. Field hockey players are tough. There's no question about it. And all they have is the shin pad, right? Yeah. And now the goggles. My uh, my sister lost her two front teeth playing field hockey. Well, we know what she wants for Christmas then. <laughs> As the real Mr. Russell standing behind me can attest to. Oh, tiger ball. Staying <clears> there. <throat> 
<clears throat> Five and a half gone in the quarter. And Nicole is also uh, back in. Let's see what Nicole said. Favorite subject, science. Favorite food, pasta. Have you had Nicole? I had her last yeah, year, yeah, have. for honors. I US have two. I have her this year. Very quiet kid, but very hardworking. Did very well in class. Wants to become a nurse, a registered nurse, then later a nurse practitioner. Oh, so we got a couple of them looking to go into the medical field, huh? Certainly need them. Well, we got something brewing here. Varakis up. Yeah, she has Grace on her right side. Can't get through. Nice defense. Yeah, good hustle there. And that's going to get out. Hit comes in. Oh. Nice attempt by Ariel. Have to imagine the grass is maybe starting to get a little wet down there. A little slippery. At least we don't have the fog like <laughs> we did the other night. I was talking to Adrian Heinz and Rowe before the game, and he was showing me some of the pictures. He says, yeah, it was very difficult with the fog the last couple of games. Good fight going on, on the far side between Jenna the fight should be and Stackowitz. That was a field hockey game. <laughs> So the Gale's now seven minutes away from the first ever league title in Clinton history. Actually, I can uh, I can see Smitty on the far side. He's starting to sew up the banner now. <laughs> He's using his needle and thread that he learned from Miss Jewett. Kale Ball. Good work there by Grace. So she was trying to get it to Champy on the far side. Tigers have opportunity here, but good job by uh, Clinton defense. Lazardo, Zentgraf, Scottberg. No, oh, that's got to be a push. Yep. <clears throat> nice free hit by Scottberg. But out of bounds. So as a reminder, we have girls soccer senior night tomorrow. And we have football senior night on Friday. Yeah, only one game tomorrow, too. Just the varsity at 6.30. And be sure to tune in at 6.30, because I believe they're doing their festivities at the beginning. They are, okay. Sort of. Well, they'll start the festivities. Honoring the seniors will be after. Quite a few seniors on girls' soccer, too, Mr. Russell. Yes, there is. Mr. Hilton ran out of ink doing all their fatheads. <laughs> Yes, we know the band and the cheerleaders will also be honored Friday night. We've mentioned it a couple of times as our executive producers in our ear. We need to get him on a headset. Then then we'll know what's no. going on. No. Oh, kick save by Charletta. Still in. Oh. 
Tigers up to a good job there by Kayla. That was a great job. Kick out, out of the circle, but back in. Still not out of it. Oh, got Varakis. To Ariel, nice play oh. there by Grace. Oh. I was trying to get it across the field to Faith. But Grace in the middle. And it's going to go wide right. That was a great job by number 25, Eliza Smethers. Yeah, we get those kick saves on uh, on replay. Yeah, good job there by Kayla. Who really knows how to play the goalie position well. And obviously our stats up here are unofficial, but I would have to imagine she has one of the best save <laughs> percentages in the league. I would and she has to be. I mean, two goals all season. Of course, the question is, is how many shots has she seen? Yeah. Our defense has done a, a very good job keeping offensive teams at bay. <clears throat> yeah, that was, that was her uh, biggest test was that sequence right there that you guys just saw. In this game, as we're now under three minutes to go. Tigers in the circle. Oh. Job there by Grace Dick out. That was a great job. Get it out of the circle. But still not completely out. And Tiger Ball. Ooh, good job there by Grace. And sense of urgency here, good hustle with under three left. Oh, nice heads up play. Oh. Yep, that was 26 there. Annalie Bellio. As we hit the two minute mark. Ooh. Nice hit. No. I think she's calling it outside. The, it is outside the circle. Yeah, no one tipped it. No one touched. So no goal. Completely outside the circle. But, and just to clarify too, you can hit it outside the circle. It just has to touch them. Correct. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's always a dangerous if you're hitting the ball like that. It could very easily just deflect off of a off a stick and pass the goalie, but not in the case there. Oh, great stick work by, oh. I thought that was great stick work by Ariel. Hannah comes up, good defense, but, yeah. So here we go, under a minute. As the Gales look to secure a mid walk D title. Job there by Perusi to get it out. As the Gales, barring anything wild here, should improve to 11 0 and 3. <clears throat> Tigers still keeping the pressure yeah, on here. They the are. Last minute and a half here. They're trying to get at least get on the scoreboard. But here comes Grace, Captain Nelligan. Seven oh, seconds. Nice plays by Varakis. Keep it in. And that's going to do it. And the Clinton field hockey team are league champs for the first time in history. Final score, Clinton green, Maynard zero. And congratulations to the Lady Gales Field Hockey Program that just secured their first ever Midwatch D League title. Congratulations, ladies, and Coach Russell.
Yeah, have fun. Gonna I'm going to head down. Well, they got a few minutes before, but we set up the cameras and everything. But hopefully uh, no one goes away. Double the uh, the double barrel action here of a great victory. 3 nothing win. Senior night. And securing the league title. Yeah. So, hope you can handle it without me, pal. Oh, I'll be okay. All right. I'll see you in a few. send us well I'm gonna when they announce the parents I'll say the parents and stuff if they I don't know if they sent me it though yep they did never mind yeah so that's when they announce them that's like all I'll say As we get ready to honor our four seniors here, number 24, Captain Hannah Zenkraff, number 8, Captain Grace Nelligan, number 4, Jalen Castillo, and number 5, Nicole Lizardo.
as we'll turn it over to the voice of the Gales, Derek Moyson. Will be met by Christine and Joe. Accompanied by Sarah and Jay Laganelli. Even though it's time to say goodbye, I hope we can celebrate one last time. 
great things. Good luck in college, but remember, it's okay. I love you, Nelly. Jalen Castillo, met by Alex and Amaryllis Frias. Nicole Lazaro being met by Builded and Julio. And one last time, congratulations to our seniors, Nicole Lazardo, Jaylene Castillo, Grace Nelligan, and Hannah Zenkraff. And again, congratulations to the whole team for becoming Midwalk D champs for the first time in Clinton history.